Hi everyone! So, in this video I will be making the stabilizers for the A380. I actually made them, but um, I want to show you how I made them. And that second one is in the mold, but this one is done. Anyways, let's roll back and get to work. <laughs> Alright, the two skins are done and they look amazing. This is just the BVA, that's why it's not super shiny. I need to wash it out. Usually I keep them uh, in the mold, but this time because I cast these last night and I had to go to bed. And so when I came in the morning, the material was really hard. So I could not uh, trim the, the extra material using uh, just a blade. Uh, so I had to remove them and cut them with a pair of scissors. It's all right now I can just put them back in because this is BVA and if I just put some water in here it will stick back in the mold and so I can finish them and close them. But for the next one I will cast it in the morning and then in the evening I can come back to it when the resin is still uh, easy to cut. Just trim all the extra material and then it will be much much better. And so now I will cut the wood and uh, try to assemble it and see if everything fits 100% and if the two parts close nicely and then finish the first one. This video is sponsored by BCB Way. BCB Way offers high quality custom BCB prototype service. You can now write and submit your own articles to share your ideas about electronics and receive feedback from the community. You can share it directly on their website or on your own social media platform and simply send in the link. So if you are interested in making a long term cooperation with PCB Way and receive rewards up to $100, make sure to check the link in the video description.
right, here are the two stabilizers. Uh, I glued the main two spars in here on the stabilizer side. And on the fuselage side, I did not glue them until I made sure that everything is leveled. And that's why I assembled uh, both wings and I used the laser in there to align everything. And now everything is perfectly level. The stabilizers with the wings and with the uh, vertical stabilizer. And so I just glued these with two drops of glue from outside. And so now I can take uh, everything apart and glue them from inside with some epoxy. And then uh, go ahead and cover the stabilizers. All right, here are the two stabilizers are finished and they look amazing. Uh, each one is around uh, 480 grams. I mean, for this size, uh, the weight is, is okay. And of course, uh, I need to do the usual stuff, sanding and primer and uh, stuff like that. And I have the servo uh, hatch here is ready as well. And so now it's time to cut the elevators and uh, I did add Kevlar on the top of each skin and uh, this will give me a nice clean uh, hinge and so um, I need to mark everything and start cutting all right All right, I'm done in here, uh, except of course, uh, primer and sanding later. But I love this hinge. Uh, it's so beautiful and simple at the same time. Of course, I used Kevlar in here, but uh, you can also use um, peel ply. I've never used peel ply because I think I don't trust it because peel ply builds super easy. But Kevlar really uh, bonds much, much better than uh, peel ply. And of course, to cut this is very simple, but it must be 100% straight, otherwise it won't work and uh, using a filer here I just cut out the carbon until i reach uh, the kevlar and then stop there and from the bottom side i just cut it ahead of the center line of the hinge like the hinge is here 
and I cut it around I think here 8 millimeters and here around 15 millimeters so the hinge is here and that allows it to go inside and hide and that's super nice because when I first attempted to do this hinge I did not know about that I should cut ahead of it and so what I did is I cut exactly at the center line and I ended up with a huge gap in here which was I think a centimeter but anyways now I know how to do it better and this works so nice and when the elevator is zero we have around 1.5 millimeter gap and that is perfect all right that's it for this video and uh, now I have finished all the major parts of the A380 and that means from now on I can start uh, finishing uh, stuff like sanding primer and the, the final touches and stuff like that before I start installing the electronics so from now on I won't be focusing on one part of the plane I will be working a bit on the fuselage a bit on the wings stuff like that to finish the whole thing and I will also make a whole video about the landing gear because this is going to be a complicated part making the landing gear for the A380 especially the main landing gear the ones on the fuselage that they have to retract different way that they go inside uh, and uh, I will make a whole video about the landing gear so yeah uh, stay tuned for the next video uh, thank you so much for watching and bye bye